back again folks digging up in here this is what I got so far I'm gonna get out here this is probably the best find out of the spot right here green color I don't know what would have been in it it's full of stuff but anyways this is like a poison it's a screw top though a couple cobalt blues scuff coat this green insulator Looks pretty crudely made. This one here I found elsewhere. There's a perfect seal mason jar. I'm not going to take that, but check this out. This looks like a slate shingle. That to me looks like a square nail was put through there. You can see how the back side of it's busted up where it, where it uh, exited that side. That slate. That's pretty cool. All right. Onward. Just eyeballed this surface vine here. Pork top says nukes ate it on it. I don't know what that means, but I'll take it and look it up. And there's another something right here too. Looks like it might be a good one. Oh no. It's just broken. Those are Raleigh's. Yep. Okay, back at you in a bit. Check it out. He's got another Pendleton's Venetia. Except for that one I broke the other day. They're gone. Where's your Thornton company? Ooh. Right, on the next one. The brown cork top, it's embossed with something. Let's pull it out. Put this all together. Oh, yes, sir. Kendall, it says. Around the shoulder. Kendall. Spavin. Treatment. Look at all the multi sided embossed on the bottom, too. Let me give a date, though. Cool. That's a nice oldie. Alright. Catch you later. Check it out, folks. Another cork cop. And another uh, Johnson's American anodyne lemon <laughs> liniment. <laughs> That's the second one I pulled out of here. Right on. I'm loving this spot. All kinds of oldies in here. And not very deep either. Just like right under the surface. Look at it. Crazy. Alright, catch you later. Check it out, folks. I just pulled this out about five seconds after I pulled out that Johnson's American Liniment. That's a cursive writing Lysol bottle. Cork top. First time I've seen one of those. Right on. I can't wait to find out what the date is on that. Wow. What a spot. This place is full of all kinds of treasures. Cool. All right. Later. Check this find out, folks. That is cast iron. That is heavy. And that was, I would have to say, definitely the uh, shell to a clock. Check it out. I'm going to keep it. That's going to look nice displayed, I think. Wow. Interesting. All right, catch you later. Alright for the clean up here folks. I'm gonna to try to get through this fairly quick. Got quite a bit of stuff here and not a whole lot of time. This here and this green one. We found these at a different location than the rest of it, but I'll throw them in here. This is an Esquire scuff coat, white scuff coat, and that I believe is from the 40s or 1940s or 50s. 
Probably the same with this. I don't know what this was, but it's a really nice bottle. Alright, now on to the other location. We've got the Sussex Beverage Company bottle. That's from the 1920s. This uh, Kendall S. Spavin treatment. That's from uh, 1920s or 30s. And apparently that was a treatment for toothaches, warts, weak back and wounds. It probably contained alcohol or some opiates. And we go on to uh, the Johnson's American Anodyne Liniment. Got two of those. They cleaned up great. I found one at this location uh, earlier. It didn't clean, clean up nearly as well as those ones. We've got this Milk White. I generally don't keep those, but I did this one because it's in good condition. It's a Niall's Cold Cream embossed on it. Cap still on it. It's in really good shape. Two Lysols, two different Lysols. This one here, I've found these before. I think this is from the 1930s. It's in really good shape. Cleaned up good. First time I found one of these ones. And that's from the 1920s. We got a Raleigh's bottle from the 1920s. Those three tops, I kept those because they're quite colorful. That Absorbing Junior cap, that's cleaned up real good. It's just like the day it was made. Now what else we got here? Horlicks Malt at Milk, 1920s or 30s. This Nuxated vial. Nuxated iron, yeah, it says right there, iron on it. These were nuxated iron tablets, produced in the early 1920s. They consisted of iron and nux vomica from the strychnine plant. Supposedly, they enhanced uh, athletic performance, whatever that means. These here, I got two of these improved gem mason jars. I picked these up out of the bushes when I was leaving. They were a little further away from the dump site. They're embossed on the bottom, 1933. We got this stuff up here, I'm not going to go over that. That's a nice uh, ink bottle though. There's that weird glass. And then we got this here, which is probably a clock. The insides are missing though. I might uh, make a video of cleaning that up if I can figure out how to do it. It's nice though. Okay, so that's everything folks. Thanks for watching. Good luck, happy hunting on your outings. I'll catch you on the next one.